we continue today our series on Jesus' healing ministry. In our previous episodes, in the experience of the man born blind, we highlighted the truth that Jesus could heal because He is from God. We also noted in the experience of the paralytic who was helped by his friends that grace multiplies when people come together to help a sick friend. And last week, we stressed the proper response to the grace of Jesus' healing, gratitude. Today, let us recall the familiar story of a man with a hearing and speech defect. When Jesus was in the Decapolis, people brought to him a deaf man who had a speech impediment and begged him to lay his hand on him. Jesus took the man away from the crowd and put his finger in the man's ears and spitting, touched his tongue and then he looked up to heaven. Here we see three important points. Jesus did not heal people for fame. It was for the cure and consolation of the sick themselves and not to show off or impress the spectators. Jesus touched the sick. How else could he express his closeness and solidarity to a fellow human being who was suffering? He identified with them. He risked being made impure by their sickness and sin, as was the prevailing belief at the time. Lastly, Jesus looked up to heaven because he knew and recognized that it was his communion with the Father that would make the healing possible. These three points led to his powerful utterance. Be opened. And the man's ears were opened and his speech impediment was gone. This was another sign of the closeness of God through the promised Messiah. But why did Jesus say, Ephata? To Pope Francis, it was not only a healing moment, but also a teaching moment. Jesus opened himself to the need for healing of the deaf man who had a speech impediment. Jesus' openness opened the man's ears and loosened his tongue. The man can hear again, and the first thing he heard, Ephatha, be opened. It was gospel, good news. Your ears have now been opened. It's your turn to open yourselves to others who need your help. Lord, open our senses that we may open ourselves to others who need our closeness and assistance. Amen. 